Today's first myth asked if there's any truth behind the story that one of the members of the band Kraftwerk used to ask the tour bus to drop him off a few hundred miles or so from the venue so that he could bike there. As one of the most uniquely awesome bands of all time, there is a ton of myth and lore behind Kraftwerk, and their love for all sorts of cycling is very well known and well documented. This legend actually became popular in the early 80s and it's been pretty persistent ever since, but that's all it is. It's a legend, total myth. Though members of the band did cycle whenever they could, this one has been outed in several interviews over the years as a complete fabrication. The band is still just as cool as ever, but no pre-show rides really ever happened. My second myth asks if there's any truth to the long-standing claim that the band Chicago actually changed their name because they were threatened with a lawsuit by the Chicago Transit Authority. The name change happened in early 1970 between the band's first and second records. And this claim is 100% true. It totally happened. Though their first record did take a few months to catch on, once they started a tour in support of it, the Chicago Transit Authority threatened to sue them over the name. And instead of going through a long, drawn-out legal battle, they decided to just shorten it to Chicago, and the rest is pretty much history. So this is totally true, and when you think about it, they're one of the few bands to have the same lineup with two different names and two different self-titled records. The final myth today asks if Nine Inch Nails' Downward Spiral album was really recorded in the house where Sharon Tate was murdered. Recorded in 1993, this happens to be one of my favorite records of all time, and the story behind its recording is very well documented, as Trent Reznor actually originally wanted to record this down in New Orleans. The Downward Spiral was recorded at the house located at 10050 Cilio Drive in Los Angeles, which to a lot of people is known as the Tate House. This is due to the fact that back in 1969, the Manson family murdered Sharon Tate in this home. Reznor stayed at that home for nearly two years, and it's 100% true that the Downward Spiral was recorded in the house where Sharon Tate was killed. So those are my myths for this week. Be sure to check back here every Friday as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history. If you've got a myth you want me to check out, go ahead and email it to me at thedailyguru at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next time.